Alright, let me tell you what you do. This is wave 62 coming up. So Jad is after the next wave, alright? What you do is you stand in the middle for this wave. Praying mage, alright? You find... Fuck me, don't do that. Stop! So Jad is gonna spawn right here where the orange guy is, alright? So we know Jad, Jad spawns where the orange one spawns. Always. Without fail. So now we know where Jad's gonna spawn. Some idiot's gonna be like in a guide saying, Now you wanna hide behind the wall? And you wanna wait for Jad to spawn? And then you want to see how he's doing. No, you don't, all right? You want to take the fight to Jad. Do it without taking 36 yet. Stand maybe where I am here. Or in any of these. Just do it so you can see as much as you can, okay? So the reason you don't want to sit in a safe spot when Jad is out is because you want to be able to see his attack straight away and just go balls deep. Don't fuck around. Don't be a pussy. Don't... Don't finger blast yourself, okay? Just go in. He's gonna die. Jad's gonna spawn. We're gonna start playing range. And if he stomps, it's range. If his hands stay in the air, like that, it's mage. And that's it. And just start hitting him, okay? Don't fuck around with safe spots because it doesn't matter. You just want to be praying and you just want to go balls deep. So if you start fucking around with safe spots, if you start thinking about where you've got to stand, if you start thinking about what you've got to do, you're going to start thinking about too many things. You're going to start misclicking. You're going to start worrying. It's going to be a pain in the ass for everyone, including yourself, you know? So just... Take your time, pay attention to what he does, click in between his attacks. He's doing nothing but range at the moment, so this is huge for us. We can just sit here doing damage, you know? Mage attack, we've got all the healers on us, now we just keep hitting Jad. We're going to tank a hit here for the uh, diary, there we go. That's for the combat log, and now we need to just heal up and keep going. Alright. There we go. I'm pretty sure I tick ate that. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I'd, I'd tick ate with timing, but I don't think it was going to kill me anyway. Then you just go in and you finish the cunt off like that. Okay? Very easy. Just change your prayers as he moves. Turn your prayers off. Done. No pet, unfortunately, but we are going to trade the cape in. Give me the pet. Go on. Yes. Scam game. What's the point of keeping thick skin on with the overheads on? Ah, uh, for the healers. Because they do damage. It's that easy doing Jad. Because if you do too much, if you put too much thought into killing Jad, you just get fucked and you get too flustered. That was fast too, I think. Yeah, I did it really fast. But you got to remember, one thing to keep in mind, when you watch my content, I, I make, it's entertaining. I've got the only guides in RuneScape that you will go back and watch just because it was fun to watch. Even if you know how to do the boss. You'll go back and watch my Venonatus guide because it's fucking, it's top tier. Okay? But also, don't use it as a benchmark that just because I do Jad that easy, that you can too. I am the best at this fucking game. But use it as a guide to help you understand the, the inner workings of my genius and how how simple this game really is. How how hard it really isn't. And and apply that to your own to your own leisures that you can actually put out that sort of performance in this game, okay? Send your thermic guide a few times because it's funny as well as well as useful. Exactly. You know? There's a method to my genius which goes beyond that of a normal content creator. And that is why they call me the fucking king. Okay? It's that simple. Any objections, Your Honor? This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge!